Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about the most one of the most effective things for a Christian that makes a great impact in our faith or in you know our relationship with God. That people I think really don't understand the magnitude of how this method is more effective than anything. And I'm going to teach you how effective it is. And it's singing and songs are so powerful. Now, as you know, Lucifer is a praise and worship, you know, leader of heaven, you know, was cast down because of his rebellion, wanting to be God. You know, he was, he was a praise and worship that led songs and see Satan you know, now Lucifer is Satan. Satan knows the power of songs. And he, of course, you know about the world. You know, the world sing songs and their lyric and, and their words are powerful. But I'm, of course, you know that because, of course, it says in Proverbs, death and life is in the power of the tongue. But and that is so true. Of, that is a sound Understanding, like, you know, it means like it's profound, means that it's supposed to tell you the, the cause and effect of singing, you know what I'm saying? And word, and because, of course, songs have words. And if, if there's depth and life in the power of the tongue, that means, a you know, the words of a song can affect me in that way. It can give me life. It can lead me to death. And people don't realize how important to understand that because that is going to dictate the direction of their life and the direction of their belief system. But I'm going to go to Ephesians 5 and 17 and it says, Wherefore ye be unwise but understanding what the will of God is to be, to be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit. Now, notice that's talking about uh, understanding the will of God, the Lord, and ha having understanding. That's very important things. But now it says, speaking to yourself in psalms, in hymns, in spiritual songs, in singing, in making melody in your heart, to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father and in the name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, some, watch this, submitting yourselves one another in the fear of the Lord. Look at all of those things that, you know, it comes behind of talking about, you know, Psalms, talking about giving thanks always. You know, of course, David teaches us that, you know, in Psalms, all the Psalms, the 150 of them, about that reality. And singing plays, a, in songs, plays a very, 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 very strong role. Like I said, in our belief system, in the directions of our, our life and how we make decisions. So whatever music or songs mainly you listening to is going to direct you to life or direct you to death. And you got to be careful of what's going in your ear because your ear is the most powerful, number one powerful uh, uh, part of your body, you know, period. I have proof because the Bible, because in the beginning, God said, God said, that means he made a sound coming out of his mouth. And the only way you can receive a sound is through ears. And of course, you know, faith come by hearing and hearing the Word of God. We need to hear the Word of God in order to have faith. You know, our ears are the most important thing, spiritual part of our body that we have, you know. And we just got to understand that our hearing it's going to affect and dictate the kind of person we are, you know, and the kind of person that we desire to be is going to be determined in our ear. And songs help do that. Now, I'm going to show you what songs do. Songs, when they come inside our ear, what happens is 
they go around our mind. You know, songs come around our mind, the melody and stuff like that. It goes in our mind and it goes in our hearts. It circles around our hearts. It's a flow that circles around our hearts. But whatever seeds or whatever words that are in those lyrics are going to circle around our mind and it's going to spread out seeds in our mind and in our hearts that can either make us better or worse. You know, whether it's going to make us good or bad. And you know how much seeds are going to give us more reason to want to do either or. Now, as you know that James said that, you know, a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And the thing is, if we keep listening to certain songs that's making us do bad things, encouraging bad things to do in our head, the thing is, and we listen to a song that's going to encourage good things to come in our head, what happens is we're going to start getting double-minded. Do I want to do good? Do I want to do bad? Do I want to do good? Do I want to do bad? And, and, and same thing in our hearts. It circles in our heart. Do we want to go after righteousness or do we want to go after wickedness? And now we're just going there. Should I do this? Should I do that? We come double-minded. We come unstable. We're going nowhere. Really, we can't rip ourselves apart and your half of myself go this way or half of myself go that way. That can't work like that. But we only got one body. You know what I'm saying? We only can go one direction. But songs determine your direction. But the words of the songs shows life or death. And we have to understand that that is the reality of what we listen to concerning the songs. And the thing is, you know, it talks about, you know, in, in that 18 verse, it says, be filled with the Spirit. You know what I'm saying? The songs will help us be filled with the Spirit. But, of course, the other songs will have to be, operate more in our flesh. You know, Spirit, flesh. The Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And the thing is, we got to understand what we put, the songs we listen to are going to dictate that. And it's going to either make you stable or unstable. You get, you know, in the Bible, the Bible talks about, and it talks about, you know, in Ephesians 6, about being singleness of heart. That we become in 6, 6 and 5, of being an obedient servant, you know, and at the end of it, it talks about, in singleness of heart unto God. We have to have a single heart. That our whole heart. Whole heart. Going after him. Instead of our heart going this way. And that way. And that way. And this way. And that way. But our our whole heart. We do, we're we supposed to develop our whole heart. You know what I'm saying. To go whole after him. And that's what s songs are going to determine that, but what makes it the, the makes it so effective? It circles around. It doesn't like just like words come into our ear and it just sits in our mind. But songs come in and it goes, zoo, zoo. it spreads across our minds and our hearts and circulates there. I mean, that's what makes it so powerful that it can travel around our hearts and minds. Spreading forth seeds that either can bring death or bring life. So that's how the what's the power and effective of songs. So I encourage you, listen to Christian songs and not secular songs. I encourage you, but it's your choice of what you want to listen to. I'm not going to force you or nothing. But that's the reality of what the result of it is to listen to this kind of, of songs concerning music. Now, understand that. I hope you get this understanding. I hope you apply this understanding with the importance of your direction. If you care about the direction of your life. All right. To God be the glory to him forever and ever. In Jesus name. Amen.